Hey everyone, CPO here, and uh, in this video is going to be a really quick one. I'm just going to show you uh, what I'm working on. I'm getting ready to install a UHF VHF radio into Overclocked here, and I'm going to use this antenna. This is a diamond antenna. I'll go into more detail in future videos on this, but I want to mount this uh, on the Jeep, and I'm going to do it using this guy from Rugged Radios. This is a mount specific for the JK on the driver's side. This antenna is going to fit right here and it's going to mount just like that. So the reason I'm doing this video for you now is uh, because I had a hard time figuring out if this Rugged Radios antenna mount had a rubber backing or not or if it was just a piece of powder coated steel. So I can tell you now unequivocally it's just a piece of steel. So I'll put a link uh, to where you can get this uh, down in the description. But uh, what I decided to do is get a piece of this rubber packing uh, sheet. This is a 16th inch uh, thick piece of rubber. And I'm going to cut that to fit this. And then I'm going to use that as a backing to protect my paint when I install this. So this packing material, you can actually get in plumbing sections at the local hardware store. Um, sometimes they come in black, sometimes they come in different colors like red or orange, or even I see it a lot of like a brown natural color. Um, I just got this on Amazon from Lasco. Again, I'll put a link. It's a six by six sheet of rubber basically. So I'm just gonna trace out the back of this and, uh, and then install. So let me show you. All right, so I'm guessing if you had a really sharp pair of scissors, you could probably just trace this and cut it with the scissors. Um, I don't trust the scissors I have, so I'm gonna use a razor knife. And what I'm doing is just tracing around this sheet of rubber. Don't tell my wife I uh, grabbed her cutting board from the kitchen. So now I know where I need to cut. All right, I'm using one of these uh, pencil knives. And I'm just cutting along the inside edge of that. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you'll know your own tolerance for perfection on these things. Like I said, you can get these rubber sheets. Oddly enough, I don't know, I'm not a plumber, um, so I don't know how they're used. I haven't researched it yet, but they're commonly found in plumbing supply uh, areas. It's called packing, six by six rubber packing. So. I like that. I'm gonna clean up these two edges right here where I made the corner. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna cut out the hole. In this case, I'm mostly leaving the knife fairly straight and then just turning the rubber. And in my opinion, this has to be less perfect because um, you'll have a bolt going through here so you'll never see this. Boom. All right, let's go put it on the Jeep. All right, and it's designed to fit where these two lower bolts are. 
if you've ever installed a light bar bracket, you'll know exactly <laughs> what we're doing here. Of course, this may not be as clean of an install if you have a light bar bracket, which I don't, as you can tell. Just reusing the factory bolts here. Making sure it all looks good. This is not my final install. Um, I'll be doing the radio install soon, hopefully. But I wanted to go ahead and get this sort of cut up and test fit. There you go. So there is the bracket. Again, this is the Rugged Radios JK bracket. They make one for the driver's side and they make one for the passenger side. All right, so now my antenna is just gonna mount right here. I've got my cable that's gonna go there. It's actually a, uh, the downside of this bracket is it's a 3 8 inch hole. So what you need is a cable uh, 3 8 NMO and that's gonna fit up in there like that. This is gonna screw down. And then this is gonna screw down on top of that. So um, that's pretty much how that's gonna go and that cable is gonna run inside the cowl. And I'm mounting it here on the driver's side because I have the AM FM antenna completely opposite on the passenger side. And then in the front corner here on my uh, bumper, I have my CB antenna. So I wanted as much separation between the CB antenna and the uh, UHF VHF antenna as I could get. So yeah, I think this is a good height. It's actually about the same height as my factory AM FM antenna. And, uh, and this has a cool fold over option if I need to lower it for some reason to go under parking garages. But generally speaking, as long as my AM FM antenna clears, this should clear as well. This one, however, it's on a spring for a reason because it's always bumping into things. Anyway, guys, that's it. That is the Rugged Radios JK uh, antenna mount for the um, pillar. Uh, and uh, yeah, go check it out. And links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.